plane is to head to the PP Islands because Liv was here, how long ago was that? Like three years ago. And she didn't get to go to the PP Islands. So what we want to do this time is to see it. Yes. Um, so we're heading to the pier. Uh, we'll link exactly where it is, hopefully to get to the ferry to the PP Islands. Yes, and it's exactly one week since our wedding. We've been married. Woo! And this time last week we had no idea we'd be in Phuket. So. Yes. <laughs> Let's roll with the punches. Yes. <laughs> All right, and we're going to take the cab to the pier, Rosada Pier. So because we had no idea that we were even going to be in Thailand yesterday, we didn't really book anything in advance or could compare prices. Our original plan was to go to PP Island, but when we got to the port, they told us that the last speedboat was at 3 o'clock, so we didn't think we'd have enough time to justify going there. Also, the speedboat driver told us that it's going to be super crowded there as well, but he gave us an alternative to go to three different islands in the Krabby Sea, which are very similar, less crowded, and around the same price and it includes transportation to all three islands and back to our hotel for 2,500 baht, which is more or less $70. And now we're heading off on the ferry. So the ferry takes about two hours to get to the islands, but the speedboat takes about an hour. So if you're crunched on time, take the speedboat. I've seen a lot of wild things, but to be rocking fake drawers, look at this. My boy's drawers say, care live, care line. I hope y'all can see that, because that is wild. I ain't never seen fake. Calvin Klein, come on, like, I understand Gucci, but Calvin Klein? We just made it to Krabby. All right, so after a long ride, we are getting off the ferry and now on to the speedboats. First thing that you really realize being in a Krabby Bay is how green and beautiful these waters are. It's just kind of mind blowing. And just how really big these, um, I don't even know what to call them, these islands, these big rocks are, because they are humongous. And the tour, they have Rambutan for us, thank you. And a cooler of drinks as well. This is great. And we're fresh off of the speedboat behind us. And this is beautiful. We're on our first island, which is Poda Island. White sand here. Let me show you. Beautiful white sand. And spectacular views here, man. So we're at this beach at Poda Island for an hour. So we're just gonna be on the water, enjoying the views, because there are so many of them. Wow. and we're heading to our next spot. Check it out, Chicken Island. Can y'all see why they call it Chicken Island? Let me zoom into it. See how it kind of looks like a chicken right there? All right, so I'm gonna go snorkeling mm -hmm. down. Liv, are you coming with me? I'll meet you at the beach. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. What is it? That later we're gonna move the boat that if you could swim, you can swim to the beach. We need to okay. Alright, 
so now we're on the next island. I just felt a little way to the shore. And we're about to eat. This one is... I don't know the name of this one. Wow. Beautiful. Right, Liv? Love it. And included in the tour is food. Looks pretty good, actually. So they have a wide variety of food included in the tour. I myself got chicken curry and sweet and sour chicken um, with a fried chicken and white rice. But you know, my wife is basically a vegetarian. So she got. I got rice, veggies, and different sauces. So. All right, so we are on Chicken Island. We're about to climb to the top, well, as high as we can go. You ready, Queen? All right. And we climbed up top, and it's so cool up here. Look at this view. So this is really cool. Down here is Chicken Island, and you see right here that's white sand, and in between is water. Well, it's gonna keep going lower and lower tide to the point that you can walk. Even right now you can walk across, but it might be a little bit of a swim. So we're gonna climb to the top and hopefully get back here so we can cross or walk across. All right, and now we're walking. It's a little under waist height. Live over there, I'm nervous. All right, and very shortly, you're able to get up. Yeah, definitely feel it in the quads. And we made it. Finally, Liv. Finally. But it's beautiful here. Liv really loves the water. There she goes. I'm going to chill in the shade. And we're leaving this beautiful island. And we're heading back to the boats. And here are the traditional Thailand boats. I just love the aesthetic of these. Just like that, our time at the Crazy Island is over. We had a nice relaxing two hour boat ride back in the sun, so we're kind of tired now. <laughs> Even though we just slept that whole two hours. Yeah, um, and we're heading back. Awesome.